The Judicial Council forms use statewide and local county forms or add-on forms attendant to those mandatory JC forms. Each county has a set of local forms which correspond to their own local rules. These are the forms that make up the local form sets we provide to our customers. The add-on local county forms can be purchased individually or as group packages, such as the All California Counties, Bay Area, Southern California, Capital, or Central Valley Counties. When purchased installed, the blank county fillable forms are stored in the Forms Library tab. Click on the Forms Library tab on the left side beneath Form Group under the Standard folder. Alphabetically listed are the Judicial Council form groups and any subscribed to add-on local county forms. Like the Judicial Council form groups, if you click on the county you subscribe to in the Form Group folder, you see the list of local county forms for that particular county on the right side under Form Names and Selected Group. The local county forms can be filled out, saved to a client case matter, and edited later just like the Judicial Council forms. If you want to see the listing of what form modules are installed, along with the month and year of the forms version, in the Forms Library tab, click on the folder Form List right below Standard, above the folder Adoption alphabetically, and take a look at the alphabetical or numerical list of installed county forms, including JC and non-JC groups. If you want a printed list of the forms for a particular group, you can double click on either the alphabetical or numerical form group on the right side, or click once the alphabetical or numerical form group, then click the open selected forms and switch to the open forms icon on the icon bar. You can print or save as PDF the form list. The non-judicial council forms are included as part of the judicial council form subscription and can be accessed by clicking on the forms library tab, grabbing and dragging the scroll bar that separates the form groups from the forms and release the mouse when you reach the non-judicial council forms groups in the alphabetical list on the left side of the screen. Click on the non-judicial council forms group and the collection of non-JC forms will be listed on the right side under form names and selected group. These forms can be filled out, saved, and edited later in the program, just like the Judicial Council forms. A nice feature in the Forms Library tab, with any of the groups of forms, you can click on the header bar, Form Name and Selected Group, or click the Form Number header bar to organize a list of forms alphabetically or numerically. The non-Judicial Council forms are a collection of common and useful forms which are published by entities other than the Judicial Council or the County Superior Courts such as the State Board of Equalization and the California Secretary of State. They have been added to the forms package as a courtesy to our customers after CEB editorial staff review. They are with few exceptions accepted statewide. The custom form folders feature allows you to quickly find and open your most commonly used forms by creating folders of blank forms and groupings that make sense to you. This will allow you to store the forms you need on a regular basis in one place. You can create as many custom form folders as you like. Here's how. Click on the forms library tab at the top of the screen. On the menu bar, select file new folder or click on the new folder icon from the icon bar. Enter the name that you want to call your custom folder. We recommend you use short names such as probate, summary, or dissolution. Press the enter key to create your new tab. The new folder will now appear to the right of the standard tab. You are now ready to start choosing the forms you will put into your new folder. Click on the tab labeled standard, which contains blank copies of every judicial council form, including any local forms to which you subscribe. Select the appropriate form group. The specific names of the forms will now be displayed on the right side of the screen. Right click on the form you want to copy. Click copy to. In the copy selection to window, highlight the custom folder. Click OK and the program places the copy of the form in that folder. Another technique is to drag any form from that form list. Hold on your left mouse button. Don't let go and drop that form into your new custom folder. Repeat this for every form you want in your new folder.
Judicial counsel forms are often not always easy to find because they're not always in a logical form group category. Click on the Forms Library tab, click on the binoculars icon on the icon bar, or use the Find command from the File menu. This will open a window called Form Finder. Check the boxes Search by Form Name, Form Group, and Form Number, and enter the word of a form, group name, or form number you want, and then click the Search button. Click OK in the Search Results window. Click the Open button. Opens the form on the Open Forms tab. If you click the Open View button, you will be taken into the Open Forms tab. If you want to open multiple blank forms for a selected case matter, click on the Forms Library tab. Select the form group on the left side under Standard. On the right side, under Form Names in a Selected Group, multiple forms can be opened using the following Windows blocking techniques. Hold down the Control key and left-click your mouse on multiple forms, in any order you wish. To select a range of forms, click on the form at the top of the range, and then hold the Shift key and click on the form in the bottom of the range. To select all the forms in that group, simply click on any form in the group, and then hold down the Control key and the A key. To open the multiple forms you have selected using any of these blocking techniques, click File, Open, and Return, or Open Selected Forms and switch to Open Forms icon on the icon bar, which will take you directly into the Open Forms tab, and you can fill out the forms.